Hey, so this video is to refresh on radiation analysis. Uh, the files are as per the Notion website in which the link will also be shared in the description below. So you will need to download the messing Rhino file as well as the radiation analysis grasshopper file. Okay. So in this particular Rhino viewport, I have already opened the messing reference file. Let me just change this to say Arctic view. Okay, so it looks better. And then I've also opened up the grasshopper definition file. Essentially, this is using the Singapore EPW file and this is as per the earlier video where we have uh, how to import the EPW file create a sky matrix it's a new element um, and analysis period is also relatively new so in order to understand this whole uh, definition we will have to just go on from this portion onwards which is a development from the earlier videos okay so the this first portion here is where we download and install uh, download and reference the EPW file and what grasshopper ladybug will do is to read all of this reference weather data and then what we need to do is to tell Grasshopper that we want to set up a sky matrix to this. If you don't see the same thing as what you see on the screen now, you can click on draw full names. Okay, so this will create all of the things to be um, exactly as the what you see on this video. And what we need to do is to connect after obtaining this particular command, you have to connect it to the direct normal radiation as well as the diffuse horizontal radiation to this sky matrix. And what is relatively new is to create an analysis period to set which day you would want to have your analysis to be conducted for. Okay. Thereafter that, you will connect the sky matrix to the incident radiation and you will set your analysis surface which is also prepared for you inside this Rhino file then the building context and additional context if you want to have so in this case this is a parapet wall for this room of a building and then what is important here to note is the grid size of the analysis surface. For this particular Rhino file, it has been set up to be in meters. So I've set it as 0 0.5 meter grid size. Generally, I would advise to do the analysis in meters so as not to have any confusion especially when you go into mm and then you have to multiply the uh, units accordingly okay, so now that you generally understand the workflow of this let's click on true over here to run the solar radiation analysis so you can already immediately see here that it has analyzed this particular portion right whereby the parapet wall is creating a shaded area over on this immediate portion you can see from the Rhino file I will switch off the building and you will notice this can illustrate what we were talking about earlier on so now, because this is set up as an interactive and parametric system within Grasshopper, I can select my parapet wall surface here. Mm. 
by moving it away, you will see that you are exposing the entire context now to the radiation from the sun. Okay. I can also adjust this in such a way that if I were to select, if I were to switch on the building again, and I select my building, right click, select objects, and say for example I rotate the building interactively, somewhat like so. Okay. You will notice that the analysis will also update itself. Okay, so this is a very useful system to quickly set up analysis that you will want to have in your design as well as your urban context. Okay. So what if we want to apply this to something more urban in scale while using the same concept as per this particular tutorial? Let's go to a file that we have in Cat Mapper. Okay, let me just pan here. Right click Arctic. Okay, so this is a context over here. So what we want to do is say, for example, we want to analyze a surface here. Okay, and maybe let me choose a simpler surface. Okay, kind of like this area over here. Okay, so what I will do is I will first draw a simple surface. I will go to my layers, create a new layer, make it active, and I just call this my analysis surface. Click on this, snap here, 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 and here. Okay, so this is my surface. Let me just change it to a bit more distinct. So I will select this, right click, set one surface, and I will choose this particular surface over here. Let me just toggle this to false as well. Okay. For this surface, I'm just going to move it slightly towards the front by say half a meter so that we don't have any issues with the overlapping of geometries. Okay, the next thing is for building context. So a quick way to set building context for all of this is to right click and then set multiple B reps and we will go to our buildings, right click, select objects. Okay. And now press enter. And so it has set all of this building context into our file over here. Okay. So now additional context, right click, set one B rep, and I will choose this uh, wait, this is not selectable. Let me choose oh this is a mesh. Okay. So what we will do is we have to, in this case, uh, create a mesh container. Right click, set one mesh, choose this. Now we have all of these contacts and then can just move this one away. And we will click on... Okay, so now because of the scale, Let's check what size this analysis surface is. So 28 meters. Maybe I will bump this up to be 1 meter spacing. And click true. Okay. 
So sometimes when you see this happen, it's because the normal of the surface is not pointing outwards. So you will select your surface in Rhino and then click on it and then type flip. Yep, and so this is the actual analysis. So sometimes, as you can see, there's a big overlap of this surface, right? So what we can do is we just make this active. We will hide this over here. And now it's much more cleaner outlook to this. Okay, so this is the quick refresher for radiation analysis.